Let's take a look at zooming on a T86 calculator. And the first one we'll look at is uh, x squared minus 5x plus 6. Maybe I'm just trying to understand more about the graph. Now this is assuming you know how to um, how to graph on a calculator, uh, T86 specifically. So um, if you haven't, if you're not comfortable with that, then go watch that video first. Uh, so press graph, and I'll press F1 to go into Y1. Uh, again, it's a button always below it. Press clear to clear I was there. Press max bar. I push my x squared wherever that's at. There is no. Oh, there it is. Okay, x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now to graph, I always do an exit to bring that menu down so the graph is on the uh, first first line here. Now press F5 because that's below it, and that'll give us this graph right here. And you can see it comes down a little bit below the x-axis and goes back up. Uh, maybe I want to know what's going on right here. So if I press zoom, um, the button right below zoom is F3. Then I can choose zoom in. And if I go straight down below that, the button below zoom in is F2. Now it doesn't feel like it's done anything. It's waiting for me to position my cursor uh, over where I want to zoom in at. So if I move my cursor to the right, press my right arrow key. See if I do an up arrow key, that's what the cursor looks like. And I'll do a down arrow, and I want to zoom in right there. So I'll press enter, and that'll zoom in exactly where I uh, move my cursor to. That's be in my center, my new center. Now it's still in zoom in mode, so each time I press enter, it'll zoom in by another factor. So if I press enter one more time, it'll zoom in by another factor. Now you want to make sure you wait till it comes back before you zoom in anymore or do anything else. I'm going to give you an example of what happens when you press enter too soon. So I'll press enter one time now and I'll press enter again. You see these four little dots going back and forth? That's a never never land. That's not going to come back uh, until your calculators, uh, until your battery dies and you put new batteries in. Um, so don't keep waiting. Uh, to get it out of that, what you do is you either press enter one time or you press on. I'll press enter one time and you see then it's back to, um, to zooming. Well, now I've zoomed in so much I can't see anything. If I press exit, that should take you back to here. But even if it doesn't, if you if you press exit too many times and you, uh, you go out, if you go into graph, um, ignore that. I, I press right, um, <laughs> the right mouse button by mistake. Let me show it again just so you don't see that. Okay, press graph. Um, zoom is F3. Zoom standard. Right here, the ZSTD, that will uh, set it back to your standard viewing window. So if I press the F4, the button below that, that'll always set you back to your negative 10, 10 on your X and Y axis. Okay, that was zoom in. Okay, so I'm going to go back in the graph. Um, I see this. I want a different look at a different zoom. So I'll choose F3 for zoom. And this is probably the neatest one on the calculator, I think. Uh, see the box, our first one here? I press the F1 because that's the button below it. And I'm going to do an up arrow and left arrow. And you see where my cursor is. We're putting this in the upper left hand corner where we want to draw a box at. So, and that's fine right there. I'll press enter one time. And then I'll do a down arrow and right arrow. And you should see it drawn a box. And I keep moving over. Again, you should be trying this at home, so move it over somewhere there. Uh, if you move it too far, you can use your left arrow key to go back. Uh, you can use your down arrow key to make it a little bigger, up arrow key, so forth. Now, once you get it where you want, this is going to be the lower right-hand corner of our box. And when you press Enter, it'll zoom in on just what you put the box around. So it's a very precise way to zoom. And you can see what's going on then. Now again, to set it back to your Z standard, um, you can press the F4 since that's right there. You shouldn't get used to um, memorizing uh, button uh, pushes on this. It's more of working with the menus. Because I press F4 now, it does zoom standard. But if I accidentally press exit before I do that, if I press F4 now, it'll do trace. Uh, so again, you should get used to this. So I do F3 for zoom and then F4 for Z standard. And that sets you back to your standard viewing window. 
Let's take a look at a different one. Uh, y is equal to x squared minus 400. And we're trying to understand a little bit more about that graph. So go to my graph. Y equals is F1. Clear. I'll do my X bar, my X squared button, minus 400. And um, let me press the exit to bring that menu down. And I want to choose the graph, F5. And we don't see anything. Well, we can uh, choose a different zoom. Uh, if I press F3, because that's right, what's right below my zoom. And then I want to choose zoom out. So I press F3 again. Now it doesn't ha hasn't done anything. Again, it's waiting for me to press my uh, put my cursor where I want to zoom out at. And this is fine. I'm at the origin. X equals 0 and Y equals 0. I just go ahead and press enter one time. And then it uh, zooms out. Now I'm still in zoom out mode. So each time I press enter, it zoom out by another factor. Uh, if I press exit, you can now switch to a different zoom if you want. Like if I want to go to the zoom box. I press F1 and um, move my cursor over to the upper left hand corner of my box. Say right there. Press enter one time. Do my down arrow. Now you can very quickly go across the screen. You don't have to keep pressing it over and over. All you do is you click and hold down. Like I'm holding down on the right, right button key and it goes over very fast. Now I've drawn a box around where my x-intercepts are. So now I'll press enter and it'll zoom in based upon those. Now if I um, again want to set it back to my standard viewing window, um, I look for z-standard. If I don't see it, I come right here. Again you bring up the zoom menu by pressing F3 and then you choose F4 for z-standard. Okay. Now if I exit out of that, okay, so let's say I'm gone here, I see my graph, or I don't see it. Um, you see this one that says wind? If I press F2, this allows you to set your window settings. And you see it says negative 10 to 10 and then 1 on the X and the Y. I could have this instead go from negative 20, enter, to 20, enter, and I'll put the X scale by 5. The X scale, it will tell you what the tick marks are. Now if I press F5 for the graph, again, because that's what's below my graph, you'll see this. This leftmost is negative 20, this rightmost is positive 20, it goes by 5's. So negative 20, negative 15, negative 10, negative 5, 0, so forth. Now this can be a little bit dangerous. When you go to window settings, if I press F2, if you screw this up, you put 30 for the X min. X min is greater than X max. Now if I go to graph, I get error 20 graph window. Well, if I press F5 for quit, um, if I go back into my graph, again, to fix any zooming issue or to fix any uh, window settings issue, if you just go into zoom, F3, and you choose Z standard, which is F4, then that fixes whatever, uh, whatever issues might have come up by zooming or by using the window settings. And to exit out, again, you just press exit. And that's zooming on a T86 calculator.